Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out the latest character for Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, so the character came out last night, uh, the update became available like 8, 8, 9-ish last night. Uh, I didn't have a chance to check him out until this morning, or this afternoon actually, doing a little while to wake up, but <laughs> either way. Uh, so, a little bit of a lord up here, uh, Bedman was a character in Guilty Gear XR, one of the antagonists. Uh, he looks like this. Uh, basically, he's this super genius who's so smart that if he wakes up, his brain will overwhelm his body and he'll die. It's a bit strange, uh, which is why he's in bed all the time. He's controlling the bed using his psychic ability in order to fight everyone, eventually. Uh, it's weird. Um, Personality-wise, just imagine, like, an insufferable Redditor. That, that's who the character was. <laughs> uh, but Bedman actually died during the plot of Exile. I won't go into detail in case you're not familiar, but he is dead. And with a few specific exceptions, uh, like Zato, for instance, uh, who is alive again because of, like, very specific story stuff, they don't really like to bring back dead characters uh, as playable again, but people want to have Bedman's essential move set, basically, in this game as well. Uh, so, just after Sin dropped, uh, we got a teaser trailer suggesting the next character would be Bedman, like, we saw Ramlethal reacting to seeing, like, Bedman's evil bed frame, and we're like, okay, so I guess Bedman, but of course he's dead. Uh, so there were some memes going around that looked a bit like this, where it was just, I guess it's just the bed, bed without man, there you go. <laughs> Uh, and that was pretty funny. Uh, but it was also not that far off <laughs> what we actually got. Uh, it turns out uh, Batman has a sister, her name is Delilah, and she had the same uh, weird condition of being way too smart to be awake, basically, so she couldn't wake up either. But in his like final moments before perishing, Batman has done something to cure that condition for his sister, so she is awake now. Possible he basically just made her dumber? I don't know. <laughs> it's not super clear exactly what he did, but he is awake. Uh, and the bed is still around, even though Bedman himself is not. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at the character that they made of that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna jump into the training mode first, because I don't know this moveset. Uh, I'm gonna need to get familiar with it. Train. Uh, so, yeah, the new character's name is Bedman? <laughs> you play as the bed, and Delilah is there, but you are not playing as Delilah, she is, just happens to be there. <laughs> I love this series, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> and yeah, that's Delilah. Uh, she looks very similar to Bedman, but no glasses, and she's an upboat instead of a downboat. Bedman. So let's uh check out what moves that we get for this guy. Um let's face Sin. There we go. Of course I have many mods applied, so Sin's got some lovely flags. Oh yeah, right this. The modding community for this this game is really great. <laughs> uh but yeah, so the Batman's gone, but it's implied that the bed is now controlled, like, the bed has his spirit or something like that, and that's why it's working to protect Delilah. Uh, as you can see, I am controlling the bed, uh, and Delilah is just following. And adorably, sometimes when I jump, if Delilah's there, I bring her with me, which is super cute. Uh, okay, so my, my poor dash is pretty good, I've got these wheels. I'm just experimenting with my moves here. Uh, I need to change this. I don't know if I need to have a controller connected. I get training. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, my moveset I haven't looked at yet, but <laughs> yeah, you can see the bed's pretty slow. We can go forward pretty quickly. We cannot double jump. Oh, yeah, yeah we can, sorry. I just wasn't doing it right. We don't appear to have an air dash. I'm trying to air dash. Uh, and instead I'm just sort of hovering a little bit. We 
yeah, the bed is. Oh, that's an Edda. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're playing as the bed. Delilah follows us around. Uh, and I'm gonna look at the moveset now so we can see what we can actually do. Uh, that's our punch. Punch, punch, punch. Uh, our 6P is throwing the head around like that. It's not in a way. Neat. Uh, there's our kick. We don't have a special 6K, it's just kick. Uh, that's our slash. Uh, we don't have a different success. And that's our heavy slash. And we do have a different uh, command normal for that one. And yeah, you can see Delilah's a little, a little frightened because of the big scary bed. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at our command list here. Okay, command movement. Oh, oh, okay. So I have an air dash that goes anywhere, which is why it was like doing weird hovering. I guess I was inputting to like, to, to, to like go up or something like that. Normally air dash is only forwards or backwards. Uh, but it looks like this... Copy that. Yeah, okay. Pause is mid-air, inputting a direction while pause allows you to move swiftly in the selected direction. So I have a special kind of air there. Yeah, yeah, I can go diagonally and stuff like that. Okay, okay. But yeah, you, you can't do that with most other characters. Uh, yeah, I've got command normal on... Um, Oh, on my, uh, 6P. Yeah, as usual, um, 6P is an anti-air. That's pretty standard for every Guilty Gear character. Uh, and we've got... Okay, so 6... So, so, so 6H is actually an overhead. So we just have one as a command normal. Interesting. Uh... Yeah, um, the move list has this, these fantastic names that everybody's definitely going to be using. <laughs> Using certain special moves activates error 6E state. All of the tackles trigger automatically after the next time. Oh, okay, so you use a special, and then something else will happen automatically. When you're sparking like that, you're in error 6E state. Okay. Advancing projectile? Yeah, of, of course. But that's, that's a Hadoken input, of course it's a projectile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you should have a little spiky thing. Uh, Multi-hit strike with forward movement? Oh, I like that. Okay, so 4BA is, yeah, it's my Hadouken. 4B3. Boop, 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 boop. Just a big old punch. Next, when you attack with its broken arm results in an explosion. Leaves the opponent off balance even on block. Okay, 4B9 malfunction. Okay. Uh, then we get some lovely hexadecimal here. I mean, there's other ones with hex as well, but it's using different notation. <laughs> Forces a follow-up attack from error 6D to trigger instantaneously. Can I do that at any point, or only when error 6D is active? It delays the time of the follow-up attack from error 6D. Okay, so I can control when it activates by calling these subroutines. My overdrive. Okay, I've, I've got like a, a power-up ability. Kind of a dragon install. Looks a bit like one. Uh, 4cc. A powerful attack sending out a massive shockwave. Invincibility as the attack comes out. It will cause an area shift on hitting the corner. Okay. Okay, so I've got a transformation overdrive. L like dragon install. Uh, I don't think you need to be at low health to use it, because it's not saying that. And I've got a standard sort of attack where I shoot out a big ol' explosion. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So when I'm in error state, like, I just sort of stay still for a little bit and something will happen. Zero. It's like I have auto combos almost, but I can control exactly when they go off by using uh, the delay ones. Stay safe, Delilah. 
Oh, he's so fresh. Is. Oh, he checked my taunt. That's my dust. I forgot to do that. Oh, if I charge it. Okay, and my grab. That's pretty good. And my sweep. Oh, I should check my crouching moves. Okay, so that's my crouching heavy slash. I like dash forward. Kick, punch with my face. Slash and yeah, heavy slash is quite good there. Interesting. Now that's my grab. Okay, let's pick up my taunt. Okay, one of them is I turn into a regular bed. And my respect is I just sort of beckon at the opponent. Interesting. I have no idea how close this is to my moveset from the previous games, but it's fun. Having a good time with it. Hi, Finn. Oh yeah, by the way, this song is called The Circle. This is Bedman. Oh, sorry, Bedman? Bedman's song for this game. Uh, it appears to be from Bedman's perspective, like, in his final moments, as he was, like, like, allowing Delilah to awaken and also presumably programming his spirit into the bed or whatever he was doing. Uh, the, the actual bio says that he basically put a program into the bed so that it protects Delilah. But it's heavily implied that program is actually him. Like his spirit or his soul or whatever you want to call it. Oh, idle animation. I'm gonna shut down there. Okay. Okay. I think I have an idea of how to play this character. Kinda. Remember my dashes are weird. Definitely quite slow, although you can go forward pretty quickly when you dash, so that's not bad. Um, there's an overdrive there. Look how long this lasts. You guessing it just lasts forever? Still going? No, it stopped. Okay. It might be until you do a follow-up attack with error... Oh, what was it? With error 6E. <laughs> Definitely people are not going to be using these names as much as I love them. But it's not memorable at all. It's numbers. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay, uh, let's let's switch over to um, arcade mode and see what the story's about. There's a good chance I'll only be able to do the normal route because I only play this character for you know a few minutes. But let's see how we go. Arcade. arcade. I believe one of the colors for this character. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Yeah, color 7 uh, gives her Bedman's color scheme, so if you wanted to like play, like if you were a Bedman player and you'd like the character to look more similar, you can do that, but considering the moveset is probably quite different, I don't know if that really matters. <laughs> Ink one, and yeah, the standard glowy one. I like the different look colors, I like how they look. Uh, so yeah, let's try the arcade mode and see what the story's about. Uh, we fight Baikin. Uh, Baikin adopted Delilah. Baikin is her, her mother because uh, basically when Delilah woke up, Baikin was like, oh, huh, you don't have a family. Fame. You, you, you want to you wanna be, be family? <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, of course, but that's pretty much what happened. It's pretty adorable. Blame the beasts, heaven or hell. <laughs> Hold a 
right there. Help me. Batman versus Spider-Man. Duel one. Let's rock. Any idea what's going on? No. No, I just had dinner. That's all. So why did this piece of junk go berserk? Was it hungry or something? Hey, wait! Damn it. This bed's a real piece of work. Okay, we're on stream. We'll see how we go. I like the question mark at this point. It doesn't, it doesn't have a dot. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. I really like that the intro is just Delilah walking by herself and then suddenly chat. <laughs> Letting these play through because I want to hear the stuff Delilah says. Uh, I'm gonna be late getting home. Bedman versus Eno. Eno. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh god, I'm getting rushed down. Ow! I am on extreme difficulty, to be fair. Yeah, normal overhead is really helpful. <laughs> <laughs>
Good job, though. <laughs> At least you made it to the bridge. Eno, Eno. wins. Really good. I'm disappointed the announcer doesn't say Bedman like it's a question. Gotta be fun. has very small range. Like, I think it was a projectile from the animation, but it's really not. It's, you've got to be right next to it. Oh? Oh? Thanks. Oh. Okay, Chip is really fast, so... Uh, I might get my ass kicked again. <laughs> <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. I'm giving you your last rights. Three. Let's rock. Counter. Fade away. 
Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. <laughs> My name is Zato One. Would you mind leaving me alone? Bedman versus Zato. I don't care. Duel One. <laughs> Duel one. Oh wow, my flash is really short range. Might be something that I'm not going to control. Testament.
is so so pretty. Uh, I love them. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting Look at on them. themselves, they blame the beasts, uh. heaven, or hell. To a dazzling encounter. Would you mind leaving me alone? Batman versus Tessman. Duel one. Let's rock. You're dead. gets interrupted if you get hit or something like that. It's not super clear, but I'm going to be activating that much and I get hit a lot. <laughs> 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 Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Go ahead. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. Wonderful. Already read the synopsis. It's interesting that, uh, like, Delilah doesn't really want the bed rampaging and killing everyone, but to progress you need the bed to rampage and kill everyone. <laughs> Okay.
interesting choice. It's completely random, so like pages two to seven are just are just completely random characters. <laughs> I was not really choosing anything, but I'm just. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. Oops. Begin operation. Why? Why can't I control my power? Sweetie. Batman versus Faust. Duel one. Let's I got this pole.
<laughs> Sorry. I hope you don't hate me now. Oh, baby girl. Bad man. I love this. Love this. <laughs> okay, let's see this last story bit. Our boss is Ramlethal. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. What's going on? It's not what it looks like. I, I was just laying around then. Bed versus Ramlethal. Did you seek me out to have a fight? I don't understand. But if it's what you want, let's fight. I want to know his reason for leaving that behind, too. Is that A bit more defensively, I think, this round. Quite powerful. I'm not sure if they give the bosses like higher guts ratings than normal versions of the characters or anything, but the things are they take a lot more damage. Basically, um, guts is like damage reduction when your health is low, so it, effectively your health bar is longer when it's smaller. Some characters have half a higher guts rating than others. focused on protecting you but now it wants something something from you 
It's looking for opponents who are strong, or powerful by some other definition. It won't be recharged or repaired. It isn't programmed to be. You're saying it's trying to get wrecked? Why? W what's the point? Maybe he wanted it to be destroyed. But you managed to actually stop it. I don't know why, but there must be some meaning. Meaning? Brother left to me a... meaning? Once there everything comes through I've heard of such... Game over. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, um... Yeah, so that's the arcade mode, uh, for Bedman. Uh... I love Delilah, um... I don't know if I want to main this character. I wasn't too good with that moveset, but, you know, it takes practice. We'll see how we do. Um... I really like her, and I really like the song, and I really like... everything they're doing with that, that was really cool. So... Pretty happy with this new character. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say, really. I just needed to take him out for a spin, and we've done that. So, yeah, that's Batman. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you can play as that character and strive now, and it's fun. <laughs> uh, cool. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. That's about all I got, so bye! <laughs>